Hello everyone, this is Tiffany Devon, and I am a certified lifestyle coach, wardrobe stylist, and motivational speaker. We have to talk. We really have to talk. This is a topic that's very taboo. We don't want to talk about it. In fact, it is wreaking havoc on our lives. It is the elephant in the room. It is the bull in the china cabinet. <laughs> you know the, the bull in the china cabinet, the one that makes a lot of noise. You hear it, but you just really don't want to deal with it. And that is a topic of mental illness and mental wellness. It's very real, folks. Um, the reason why this is so personal for me, I did a, vi a video that is my most influential video to date, and I was discussing my own issues with mental illness, my battles with depression and anxiety, and how I had to ad be admitted to psychiatric care from my job. And it was so embarrassing that I thought I would never, ever, ever talk about it because who wants to talk about that? Because of the stigma that is attached to saying that you have mental illness because people will often say, oh, you know, he's crazy. You know, she's crazy. She didn't take her meds today. So the people that suffer, suffer in silence and suffer alone because they don't want to hear that. They don't want what comes with admitting that. But I am cracking open the egg. I am pulling back the veil to say that we do need to have a conversation about it because it's not going anywhere. And particularly in the African-American community, we really don't want to talk about it. We'd rather lace it up and, and throw spirituality all over it. But there's nothing wrong with that, okay? As much as you pray, also don't forget to address the practicality part of it. It does require your participation. First, you must admit that just that you have an issue and it's okay to get help. It's okay to reach out to someone. You don't have to suffer alone and in silence. If there's help out there, go get it, okay? It's, it doesn't diminish who you are. It doesn't diminish your God, okay? And another thing that we so often have heard, and I know you've heard it, I've heard it, what happens in this house stays in this house. That is killing us. Our dysfunction is killing us. Do you know that 75% to 98% of all illnesses are derived from your thought life? That is huge. That's huge. There is so much that is connected to your thoughts and your way of life and what and how they can affect your life. I really can't get all get all into that into this video. It's, I'm just really just scratching the surface. But I wanted to have a conversation about it because I'm tired of hearing about people going into uh, places, businesses, and harming innocent folks because they won't address their issues. And there are ways that you can overcome it. You can go and talk to a counselor. You can talk to a therapist. You can get a coach. Talk to a pastor. I'm sorry, but your friend is not qualified or equipped to help, to help you with this issue. It does require professional help and you can overcome it. It is not a death sentence, okay? It's not cool to be that person that no one wants to interact with because you're having shouting matches. You're known to be the opinionated person. You're throwing things. Oh, I have to say, you know, you're snapping at people. That is a sign of an emotional disorder, and it has a lot to do with what happened long time ago, and you're bringing it into your present. And it's not healthy. It's not whole. And if you don't get over it, you'll pass it down to the next generation. Because a lot of these things are things that our ancestors have dealt with. Our parents, our grandparents, our great-grandparents. Whatever they didn't overcome, they taught it to you. And then if you have children, you're going to teach it to your children until someone wakes up and says, Hey, let's break this cycle. Let's talk about it. This is not right. Maybe, just maybe, what I learned as a child was not correct information. Does that make sense? I hope this makes sense. I'm not embarrassed to talk about this any longer because I'm no longer in that space anymore. But you can overcome it. But you have to start the conversation. I'm starting the conversation. Will you join me? All right. Go ahead and comment below. Share this video. It may not be for you. It may be for someone you know. But there is help. There is light. 
at the end of the tunnel. All right, thanks for watching. Again, I am Tiffany Devon, certified lifestyle coach, wardrobe stylist, and motivational speaker. Until we meet again, smooches.